Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here so that we can take a look at the week ahead and plan how to flow with the week as gracefully as we possibly can. I want to mention before I spread these cards out that I've noticed that over the last few weeks' readings, we're consistently having two of the numbers on two different cards are showing up the same. There's two sevens or two eights or two fives or whatever. And what that tells me is that we as a whole, as a species, are in a period of time where we're needing to learn things over again. We're not quite catching the full insight the first time we go into something. So just make sure that where you're not absolutely certain you understand something, go back and repeat it. Whether it's a spiritual thing or emotional, physical, mental, job skill, school skill, whatever it is, make sure that you've actually gotten the information before you completely let go of the learning of it. Okay, that said, we'll see what this week has in store. Okay, the first card this week is Major Six, Love. And the second card is Nine of Fire, Rest. The third card is Seven of Earth, Evaluation. The fourth card is Ten of Water, Family. And the fifth card is Nurture of Fire, Clarity. So I'm noticing that we don't have any repeating numbers in this week's reading, and that tells me that whatever that cycle we've been in, has come to a close or is coming to a close this week. So just take, take time at the beginning of the week to look back over your last few weeks and see if there's anything that you need to look into a little bit more deeply to make sure you really understand what you've been doing so it's a good foundation to move forward. So we begin the week with love. This is that absolutely pure delight joining together with yourself, with another, with life. Really revel in that as the week starts out here. We move from love into rest. Make sure that you're taking time to give your body a bit of a break. Give your mind and your heart a bit of a break. Whatever growing or learning or enjoying or playing you're doing, pace yourself a little bit. In the middle of the week, we come to evaluation. Evaluation talks about taking a look at where you are compared to where you'd like to be, what you have compared to what you'd like to have, and deciding whether you're at the place you want to be. If you're not, lay some plans for how to get there. If you are, appreciate the fact that you've achieved your goals. From evaluation, we move into family. This is our biological family, our family of choice, our extended family, our immediate family. Draw together toward the end of the week with people that you love and care about, that you have ongoing relationships with. This is your family. At the end of the week, we move into clarity. And clarity simply says, under all circumstances, you're seeing what's really there, you're understanding what's really going on. Trust yourself you do see clearly. So in summary for the week, begin with love. Absolute, pure, unconditional, delighted love. Express it, revel in it, enjoy it. Make sure that you rest when you need to this week. Do a little bit of evaluation of your life or a project you're involved in. Just see whether it's where it needs to be or on course to where it needs to be. Enjoy your family this week. These are the people you love the most. Make sure you have time to connect with them. And at the end of the week, know that you're thinking and seeing clearly and trust your perceptions. Have yourself a delightful week this week. Mm -hmm.